Anyway, joining me now is Pam Bondi, former Florida Attorney General and America First Policy Institute uh, Law and Justice Co-Chair. So as a former AG, I mean, Pam Bundy, the, just the thought occurs to me, this has got to be the beginning of the end of these mandates. Even the socialists in um, Canada, you got socialists here, there's a full-fledged revolt. Truck truck. By the way, do you know trucking is 75% um, of transportation of goods and services in America comes from That's trucks. Right. So how do you read this thing? 75%, Larry, and I think Trudeau's going to learn a really valuable lesson. Don't take on our truckers. You're yeah. going to lose. And that's what's happening. So, so what happened, Larry? This is very interesting. So GoFundMe, of course, over $9 million was given to help the Freedom Convoy, I love the name, all these truckers saying, we don't want to be mandated. We don't want to be told we have to be vaccinated. And so they've, they've empowered themselves. They're, they have their convoy. And GoFundMe, over $9 million, GoFundMe, and you you know, it's a shame that they've really caved to the political pressure of the progressives. GoFundMe says, nope, we don't want you to have this money anymore. We don't believe in what you're doing. So we're going to donate it to other causes. Mm. So Patrick Morrissey, AG in West Virginia, was up late one night and he saw this and said, no way, no how. He got with Jeff Landry, Louisiana, um, Ashley Moody, Florida, uh, Ken Paxton, Texas. And that's why your state AGs are so important. And they put a lot of pressure on GoFundMe and said, you cannot do that. So now GoFundMe, they're refunding the money, at least. They're not going to direct it to BLM or Antifa or whoever they want to. But they're still not giving it to the truckers. So the state AGs are still looking at this very, very closely. And by the way, if you gave to this movement, to the Freedom Convoy, call your state AG and let them know because uh -huh. they need you. Um, the state AGs in West Virginia, Florida, Texas, Louisiana, they need, um, they need plaintiffs, basically. Basically. And Larry, we're looking at this very closely too at America First Policy Institute but, because these big tech companies have got to be reined in. No, no, agreed. But th th there's a, f a good wrinkle here the give, send, go. So that's, yes. I'm told, I didn't know everything about it, but I'm told it's kind of a Christian version of mm -hmm. GoFundMe. And they have, in a, in a couple days, Pam, raised $5 million to support the freedom. Uh, convoy and the freedom mm -hmm. convoy to me this is a canadian thing but it's going to be a u.s thing and it really says no more mandates do not tell me how to live right omicron socialists in canada the socialists in the united states i think it's over pam because of the populist uprising and the truck drivers are n no better symbol than truck drivers you know but it's a populist uprising and if give send go is going to help finance the longevity of this uh, convoy i'm i think that's fabulous I do too, Larry. Yeah, $5 million in a matter of days. Mm. You know, and that's why these new platforms like Rumble and look at President Trump's platform soon to be released, Truth. What a great name. Truth coming out. They're going to put these liberal progressive tech companies out of business. And that shows just exactly what you said. Americans are sick and tired of being mandated, being told what to do. And Trudeau is going to learn a really tough lesson. And I think that's what these tech companies are scared about. The, the truckers, they're coming, to, they're coming to Florida, they're coming to D.C. See, they're coming all over the country, and, you know, we're a free state still in Florida. We're very <laughs> proud of that. But the truckers are going to protest, and they're going to take up for each other and don't take on our truckers. They are a symbol of America. That is it. You know what? I mean, I don't think people realize how important truckers are. It's a very – we could do a segment on that alone. But thanks for walking us through the other side. So, um, give, send, go. I'm going to do some homework on that group because they sound like yes. my kind of folks. They sound like your kind of folks. Pam Bodney, thank you. Appreciate it very, very much. Up next on Cudlow.